Good morning, allies. Oh, look at this idiot watching, walking in the uh, reservoir. Jesus. Good morning, allies. So we're uh, doing a little hike this morning for Carlin's birthday. It's gonna be a city hike. City hike in Fullerton, yeah. California. Yeah! Led called around and it sounded like most of the, the trails that we would have went on were closed due to the rain, the extensive rain that we had. So we lots had a, of erosion and other major stuff. Major storm. That major storm. storm. Knocked no, trees no, onto cars. Knocked so. trees onto cars. You could like living in Fullerton. You could like it, but you wouldn't love it. Ooh, look at that house. Wow, look at that thing. I wish the houses of Cerritos were more like this. Bigger? <laughs> Just bigger and like and actually with personality. Yeah. So like my dad could live in that house. Yeah. That'd be right up his alley. And then ghosts could live in that house. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you map to? The courthouse. Fullerton Courthouse parking lot. What? There's this actual hills. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. There's real hills up here. Look at this. Look at, huh? 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 See? You've arrived at your destination. Damn right. We are on the trail, which is right next to the Fullerton Court. Sometimes they release criminals just to make the trail more interesting. Ooh, nice. <laughs> what is this? That's just dog found. <laughs> Cartoon at dog found? That's a mad, whoever lost They found that. him outside Disneyland, actually. He was, yeah. he was in the whoever parking lot. That is really Those are parrots, wild, wild parrots. parrots. They fly around in big mobs at like six in the morning and scream at you. Wow, that's a lot of parrots. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys want some crackers? No, no, no. You're not supposed to feed them. <laughs> They're really like aggro, too. Yeah, we're gonna sit on it and take a picture. Yeah, she's got balloons for resistance for her birthday. That's pretty funny. We've gone off of the trail or onto a trail. I don't know exactly. But it, uh, oh man, the hills have eyes Fullerton edition. The eyes have Mac makeup and this is a road, Leia. Way to go. We are no longer hiking, now we're just walking. <laughs> this is if you're gonna walk across the street. But if you're on a horse, you push that button. It totally looks like the Golden Girls house. Hello puppies. <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know this lake was here. Lake Laguna. Ducks on a diet, won't try it. Check your ass like a mallard in a riot. Jeez, these ducks. These are the most friendly, like, not scared of people ducks I've seen in a long time. Why would they be afraid of people? Oh, hey, what's up? The duck is really close. Oh yeah, don't look at the one behind you. Oh, Edison. <laughs> he just dumped out a bunch of cops. Oh my God. All right, we're hiking back from the lake. Is that cool, Ben? <laughs> you tired? Huh? You tired? He's tired. Okay, that was a successful little mini hike. Ben got um, all the way to the lake, which is 2.8 miles, and then gave up. So now we know what his benchmark is and we just add to it. And by give up, he kind of kept running up to, oh my gosh, how did my, oh my God, look at my boots. My boots did that when I walked in the mud. Yeah. Great. This plaza is amazing. They've got a Daiso, a Ten Ten, a Lee sandwich, a Ranch 99, Thai cuisine, a Penzi's, which is all spices. And then there's a Jollibee on the other side, that's Sakura Shabu Shabu. Hey, Ben. You ready for dim sum, Ben? I just carried the the Edison's 
terrier and held Ben's hand all the way back. Leia's going off to have more party fun with Carlin. I'm taking the kids home. Let's see if I can get a nap out of this one. Maybe I'm gonna be able to fall asleep. Yo, allies, good afternoon. So, um, got home and my gear started turning. I started getting itchy to get another vending machine. Uh, so what I did is I hopped on uh, eBay and I just searched vending machine, searched filtered closest to me. Turns out there's a guy less than two miles from me. He sells refurbished vending machines. He sells everything from uh, quarter machines for gumballs and candy and toys to 50 cent machines and on up from there. Now there's two ideas I have. Two. Um, one is get a couple gumball machines and just place them anywhere I can get them and give like a 20% commission to whatever business I can place them at. Um, also, there's a dentist that I go to that I really like, and uh, we're kind of supportive of each other in the city and whatnot, and I'd like to get a sticker machine. Stickers are uh, really popular, surprisingly so, but I didn't even think about it. Stickers, uh, not just stickers, but tattoos. Tattoos are really, really popular with the kids and everything. So I might look at getting a sticker machine. Now, how much is all this costing? Well, it's about 30 bucks for a, a quarter, one quarter uh, gumball machine. 30 bucks is not bad. You add in a stand, which is another 40 or so dollars. And so you're $70 for one machine. And yeah, and then you fill it with uh, gumballs you get from uh, from Costco or wherever. Yeah, so um, how am I gonna pay for this? Well, I didn't wanna pull any more money out of my bank account, our family bank account. But I realized, like Leia and I started talking about splitting off my YouTube stuff, just all that. It's a little bit of money, you know, here and there it's enough so that we're doing better at bookkeeping because right now I'm just kind of like buying crap and I'm not really expensing it correctly and I know I'm in the red constantly because I'm always buying more stuff for YouTube to review and use and blah blah blah. Well, I've got a, uh, I've got a credit union account that, um, has everything going for me exactly what I need to do vending with. They've got a machine that I can dump quarters into. They don't charge you to use it. They can deposit right into the account. And so I've already got money in there because years ago I bought a Rydale penny sorter and I spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars in pennies sorting out the copper pennies. I've got Homer buckets full of copper pennies that um, I've been waiting for the price of copper to go up so that I can flip it on eBay. Yeah, that's a whole side hustle that I haven't talked about yet. We gotta get my garage back in order so I can get back in that. But that's a whole nother thing that is very interesting. Anyway, I got hundreds of dollars in this uh, in this credit union, so I'm gonna pull hundred out. And I'm gonna get a couple machines. Yeah, why didn't I do this earlier? I'll tell you what businesses I've always wanted to have. One of those coin coin op uh, car washing businesses. Don't know why. Uh, in California, it's sunny and beautiful most of the time so I always felt like that would be a solid uh, money maker I know that there's so many business costs that go into it that you actually it's not really profitable on its own that you need to have like three or four of them I need to service them constantly throughout the week so that it becomes profitable and that's kind of how vending works too so um, vending's different though I don't have to do a lot of work with vending and I don't have to make it that much of a time obligation so we're gonna start small I need more than one machine though and I need to kind of, I want to diversify into something cheap like gumball so I can see what the difference is. Um, that was amazing, uh, guys. That was so amazing. Let me see if I can catch you up on what just happened. So I, I went on eBay and I found a guy that was selling all these refurbished uh, machines and it looked like he was doing the refurbishing himself. Turns out I was totally right. He was doing the refurbishing himself. Nice guy. A um, little older than me, has a, a kid a little older than Ben. He had 200 plus units a uh, ven uh, vending route. Most of them, 100 of them, were gumball machines. He sold it recently for $68,000 and now he's just flipping machines and working kind of more on, on the back end side, the logistics of, of vending. He gave me so many good ideas. Um, totally changed, like I was kind of, wasn't settling on which direction to go and, and how I wanted to do this. Totally changed my mind. Um, totally made me much more confident about going the gumball and the candy route for now to get started. I have no desires of doing 200 units um, anytime like that in the future. So that's awesome. Dude's like the super mentor. I talked to him for 15 minutes or so. So excited, so excited. Um, I already know what I'm gonna do with this. I, I got a, uh, two units from him plus a stand that holds both those units. 
I need to mount it, so I'm gonna run to uh, Osh right now and get some uh, some fix uh, some hardware to, to mount it. And golden, man, golden. Okay, so we got two machines. Picked each one of these up for thirty-five dollars, and I got a two rack here um, that was another thirty dollars. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount these guys up onto the twofer and I'm going to get this one right now is configured for gumballs. This one is configured for one inch toy capsules. I'm going to insert this little doohickey here. This is going to make it work with uh, loose candy like Skittles and peanut M&Ms or in my case I'm going to do Mike and Ike's. So the guy uh, told me that um, while peanut M&Ms move fastest, Mike and Ike's and Skittles have the best ratio. And we're all about the ratio. So let's do that now. We have to take this thing fully apart all the way down to the base so that we can put it onto this, uh, this unit here. Okay, there's my lock. This whole unit slides off. And then this, whoa! How did now? Here is the quarter mechanism. Ah, what? These are supposed to be 716, so what's the problem? Oh, it's, these are the wrong threads. I'm an idiot. Okay, okay, well, back to all right, it was cheaper for me to buy a combo pack of five nuts with bolts uh, than it was to buy four individual bolts. That is packaging, my friends, that is packaging. Um, which doesn't even make sense now that I think about it, because it was a blister pack with a cardboard backing. How does that work? Giving it a test spin is probably a really good idea here. Jeez. Bingo bango. So I'm gonna try to feed it this way, which is the way I wanted to do it. Guys, let me uh, let me be very clear about something. So, a unit like this, a unit like this brand new is gonna cost you about two hundred dollars. Uh, I paid $100 for this. So it's used, no problem to me. Got some bumps, no problem to me. It functions, that's exactly what I need. The only thing that could use probably replacement is the glass. I was told that uh, you can get plexiglass at Lowe's and they can cut it for you. Um, be about a buck something per piece, boom, boom, boom. I could do that in the future. Not a big deal if I don't though. Yeah, now I just gotta fill them and get them placed. Yeah, that's pretty much going to do it for today, guys. Question of the day. I already talked about vending. Uh, what's your favorite thing you've ever bought from a vending machine? I remember growing up, um, those little quarter machines that they spit out the $2 or the 2-inch um, capsule. Just a thing of gack. Just slime. That was always my favorite thing for some reason. I never really got anything other than that. I would always ask my mom for slime and then I would take it, throw it at my sister. No, um, seriously, I'd play around with it. Um, but yeah, so for the rest of this week, we've got to figure out a couple of things. We've got to load the unit with candy and we've got to find a place to put it. I'd really like to put it in this kind of secret location that we'll talk about in the future, particularly if I if I seal the deal. All right. That'll be, that'll be, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it, guys, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. Love it if you'd subscribe. And we'll talk to you tomorrow.